Part two of making the number six. Making the wind arbor. My first task is to round the end of the wind arbor. After I've rounded off as much as I can, I then put in my drill and use my file to round off those edges more. After filing off the edges, I'll give it a final touch up with some 800 or 1000 wet and dry. After marking one side, I then flip it over and try and mark the other side. But I always seem to have trouble, so what I do is I'll put a line at the top of the metal rod to mark out the centres to make sure that those flats are parallel to one another. Now I use my handy dandy Dremel to grind out the flats and then finish off by grinding it nice and flat with the file. After I've completed all the metal pieces, I put them in a baggie because I tend to lose stuff. Now I get to sand the teeth of the gears. One of the things that's helped me when I sand the cogs of the wheels is to put a mark like an arrow on. I find it's a great little help to help me know how far I've sanded around that cog wheel. Using the file and the sandpaper, I make my way around, getting rid of all the high spots on the wheels and the cogs, and I'm trying to uh, make it nice and smooth. For the next part, I use my handy dandy Dremel to polish the cog teeth. What I do is I get one of those large felt discs from Dremel and I sand it to shape until I get the profile that I need. Using the slow setting on the variable speed Dremel, I'll polish up those faces of the teeth. This is where I usually put my dust mask on because this stuff really kicks up a ton of fine dust. This is the final stage, I just polish the top of those teeth, just to make it super smooth. When I finally get to this stage, I'm going, At last! I'm nearly the end! I'm gonna be finished soon! Yo! Part 3 to come soon!